Hey, welcome to AntLab Games, where our board game playthroughs are always unpaid and ad-free. I'm your host, Francis. And I'm Anthony. And today we're going to be taking you through Mercado de Lisboa. So this is a tile placement game uh, designed by Vitala Cerda for Eagle Griffin Games. It plays two to four players in about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so join us at the table, and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Welcome to Lisboa, kind of. Kind of. So yeah, so Mercado de Lisboa is, as Francis said, a tile placement game, but it is sort of like if you were to zoom in on the on the big, full, heavy game of Lisboa, yeah. on just the whole the market, the rebuilding the market of the section, market yeah. section, then that's sort of what this would be. Yes. Because it does have some of this, some similar mechanics. It builds on, this, on that kind of same mechanic. Yes, so this is more of a, a micro version of that. Right. Modern day. Yes, so modern. that's the twist. Everybody's got really cool hair. Right, you can tell by the cell phone she's holding <laughs> yes. in that picture. That's modern day. If it weren't for the cell phone. You wouldn't have known. No. Nope. Because that hairdo is so 17, 16. Oh, yeah. 1500. <laughs> right. I digress. So, what is Mercado de Lisboa? It is, as we said, a tile placement game, but it's, it's really, if, if you don't know Lisboa, it, it really has some pretty interesting mechanics. They're very mm -hmm. simple, but very... Um, complex right in, it's in very execution. puzzly yes it's very puzzly so if you take a look at the table we'll show you how the board is set up uh, we'll explain some of the mechanics and then we'll jump right in this is a pretty quick playing game mm -hmm. um to start the game every uh these are this is your market right this is the market uh, lisboa market we'll call it mm -hmm. we'll translate that sure. for you and then what we've done is on every one of these uh spaces where there's this little symbol we place one of these uh tokens uh gray side up means that they're not they're not active, and these what these represent are mar markets, restaurants, um, restaurants yeah. basically. Um, and each restaurant corresponds to one of the market stalls that we're able to place in the market. So we're building out this market. None of this stuff exists right now. Mm -hmm. Think of it as like an empty space that we're going to start yes. to to fill, right? So as we put markets, we'll explain sort of how the restaurants interact with the actual Farm stalls themselves. And stuff, yeah. um, so we're going to be taking turns. You could do one of four different actions on your turns. You want to go through the actions you can yeah, do? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the first thing that you can do is build one of these uh, little farm stands, and we each start with three of them. Uh, and the second, you can actually uh, place out a restaurant. So mm -hmm. if we acquire one of these gray tiles by building something on top of it, then we can actually put that restaurant out there. It's going to mm -hmm. get us some bonus points. We can call in some customers. So these lovely folks on the side are going to be our customers. We have pictures of their faces and also what they're looking for. And that's going to help us score. They'll actually be placed all around and we'll be scoring rows and columns based on what they're looking for and what's available in the market. Uh, finally, if you have nothing else to do, you can take a dollar. You can so. take a dollar, yeah. <laughs> Those are the four, yes. the four steps. And we'll explain sort of the rules around placement because there are yeah, obvious as we, rules. Yeah, as we get into that. Yeah. Um, and just the one thing to note is diagonal doesn't count with, with, nope. like most games. Yeah. Everything is orthogonal. Right. Um, in the offer, we have three randomly drawn uh, shop tiles, yeah. uh, stand tiles, and in our possession, we have three randomly drawn. So that's how you sort of set up the game. We each also start with one dollar. Yes. Now, when placing one of these markets, you could put it basically anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. If you happen to place it on top of a restaurant, you get to take that token and then play it out on a subsequent turn. But you're going to pay, it's going to cost you to mm -hmm. place it, and, and you will pay um, for the amount of shops. Right, so it's gonna be one dollar if you're just placing your shop. Correct. If there's already an existing shop in the row or column, you're gonna pay the the um, more. The sum. The, the sum, but what it's I a dollar. It's a yeah. dollar per shop. <laughs> dollar per shop. Including the one you're placing. <laughs> yeah. So if there's two shops out there, you place your shop, it's gonna cost you three. Right. Now, <laughs> what you have to look at is both the column and the row you're, yes, that you're impacting <laughs> because you're going to pay the higher of the column or the row. Right. So you, in the row, there could be only your shop, but in the column, there could be three shops now. You're going to pay the three yeah. versus the one right. for you being alone. That's, that's all you have to remember. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about scoring customers um, when we get to that. Yeah. But otherwise, you're going to most likely place a tile, a, a new shop tile, uh, pay the cost, you're gonna um, if you have a restaurant tile, you can just place a restaurant tile, and that can go anywhere on the board. Right. Um, and you'll actually get paid a dollar for putting a shop out, um, and you can bring out customers, or you can take a dollar. Yes. And that's it. So let's get into it. Yes. Yeah, so you can be player one. You'll get to go first. Okay. All right. Hmm. 
Okay, so I think I will start by putting one of these guys out. So again, I'm, this is the first stand that's going out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take this restaurant tile, which happens to be a pub tile. Uh, that's going to go out with my little stand token on it. I'm going to take this back mm -hmm. to my home base over here. And that's going to cost me one money. Yep. And it is now... And oh, you draw? Wait, I'm going to draw. So I, this is the offer. Now I will take... Maybe the tomato stand. Okay. And then one of your uh, little... House, they're not shops. houses, they're shop tents. Or magnets. <laughs> or magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Go right uh, there. Okay, so now it's my turn. Um, yeah, so obviously the first action is really limited because you don't have any shops to put down. Mm -hmm. At least stores. A you classic have, little service style. Yeah, so you've got to really start out slow, but you will build on it. So I've got, and, it, and there's, there's a, a few different shop types, right? There's tomato, yeah. there's meat mm -hmm. or chicken yep. drumstick, there's flowers, there's grapes, and fish. Yes. And each of those has a corresponding storefront. Restaurant, yeah. Restaurant, mm -hmm. if you will, right? Um, so fish become sushi, grapes become wine, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So you want to kind of keep that in mind. So uh, I'm going to put out, I only have a buck, so I really can't. Um, you can't enter my row. Enter your row or column. So I do have to try to come somewhere else. So I will start down here. And I will take this wine restaurant and pay my dollar. Your turn. Okay. Hmm. All right, I guess I will. Um, oh, I will I'm sorry, I gotta, while I you're grab doing, I'll grab a, I have to grab I guess I'll shot. put out my, my pub. Okay, so I'm going to put this pub out here. Um, and I'm going to put it right next to my uh, my grape stand, my fruit stand. Um, when you put a restaurant out, you get a buck. Mm -hmm. So I actually make a dollar for doing that. Um, but I don't get to do anything else right now. Right. So restaurants, if they're adjacent to a corresponding stand, mm -hmm. then that stand is worth an extra dollar. It kind of yeah. inflates the price. I don't of even that want to try to explain yeah. scoring that until we get to the consumers. It will, but just keep in mind that the pub is wild. Yeah. Any stand next to that pub will, will receive that bonus just because everybody Correct. goes to the pub. Um, so I, hmm, yeah, I have no money, so I can't put down a stand, so I'm going to have to one, either bring in a pub, uh, bring in a customer to try to get some mm -hmm. money, or I can um, put down a shop. So I'm going to also put down a shop. Maybe I'll put it down. Mm, I'll put it here for now. Or I'll put it here. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll get a dollar and then it's your turn. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so I think I'm going to start, I'm going to keep putting out some of these things here. So I sell a buck so I can go anywhere where we don't already have a stand. Mm -hmm. And I, whoops, I think I will put out my, do I put out my tomatoes or maybe my meat? Maybe I'll do my meat stand. Right here. I'll take this. And I pay one dollar for that. All right. And I'm going to take flowers. And more flowers. <laughs> okay, so I. Hmm. I'll bring in a customer just to show what customers do. <laughs> okay. So if I put a customer in this column, right? Mm -hmm. It's a single customer, so the, the number of heads determines how many customers are coming in that group. And you have to have at least that many stands Correct. in that row. Yeah. So if this was a, I couldn't put a three customer, 
Cause here because not, not enough stands to support yeah. that. So this one customer has come in. They're interested in flowers and grapes. I happen to have grapes, so they they, they need to come buy my grapes. Mm -hmm. So um, what you do is you get one dollar per customer per grape mm -hmm. or flower if you have flowers yeah. too. But we'll just talk about my grape stand. So my grape stand is worth would normally be worth one times one, uh -huh. which would be one dollar. But because my grape stand is next to a winery. A winery it is actually worth two dollars per grape. So I'm going to get two dollars per customer. One customer, yep. two dollars. So that's my awesome. That's my customer action. That's so good. obviously, the bigger groups that you bring in, the more money you're going to make. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, and I think I'll put out my. This guy. Go put him here. Okay. And I get a buck for that. Oh, you put it into the shop. Slow going. Yeah. Right. So. I'm going to bring a flower shop out here. It's mm. going to cost me two dollars, one for me mm -hmm. and one for any other shops in that row. Yeah. Both of them only bring it up to two, so I will pay a maximum of two. Nice. And I will get myself maybe another flower shop. Okay. It's your turn. Another flower shop. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess I will... Maybe I'll bring out this guy over here. Mm, he customer. wants grapes, so I'll just get two bucks for that. Yep, so next to the pub, worth two. Yep. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and build a, a tea shop mm. for a dollar. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I'm going to put out this, um, this guy here. Now, I'm putting out this tomato stand. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this sushi bar, um, and I'm going to pay $2 because that's the cost, mm -hmm. right, to put that out. But because I put in this row what that guy wants, mm -hmm. I actually get to score that retroactively. We don't score the grapes again, but mm -hmm. because that guy's looking for tomatoes and I happen to build my tomato stand. Yeah, you score just for I'm that gonna stand. Get, yeah, I'm going to actually get those $2 back. Correct. So. so you could basically just build that for free. Yep. You're allowed, if you had no money, you could do that. Exactly. Yeah, that's the one, neat, the one cool thing about this game is that you always pay at the end. At the end. So as long as you can afford to take the action after getting paid to do it, then mm -hmm. you're good. That is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I have to take one of these two. I'm going to bring in these two happy customers. <laughs> and they're going to come hit this row. Okay. And they oh, want man. grapes and Holy moly. flowers. Okay. So they're going to hit both of my shops. Now, my grape shop is worth two. Mm -hmm. My flower shop is actually worth three. Because it's all, it's so adjacent five, to a right? bar, so I'm going to get three times two is six. Oh, yeah. Two times two is four, so it's ten dollars. Holy moly! Here you go. Great, good job. Yes, grape. <laughs> great, great job. Okay. And just so you all, as you're following along, the end game trigger is uh, noted right here. So if there's any time that a player um, plays a tile that leaves only four available customer spaces or four available stall spaces. And like these, these count as free uh, available because they're gray. Um, that triggers the end game. All of the players take one more turn and then the game's over. Mm -hmm. So we still have a ways to go yet. So it seems it fills up pretty quick actually. Yeah, it does. Definitely does. All right, interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. All right, I will put out this guy, I think, maybe down here. Boop. 
um, flower stand. So mm -hmm. that'll be two dollars. Let's pay. Um, but I'm gonna get a dollar back because this guy's looking for flowers. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh crap! Did I want to do that? Ugh. It's done. It's done. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. But I don't. Mm, that's that's troublesome. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to do. Oh well. Okay. Very well. Go ahead. All right. So I'm gonna. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna build. A um. A guy here. Take that. Piece of parlor. And he's gonna cost me three bucks. So here's a five. Get two back. What is this? A meat. Meats. That's a meat shop or a mm -hmm. butcher. A butcher. A meatery. A meatery. A meatery. Um, it is a meatery, but it's not. But not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. What do I need to grab here? I grab, grab another flower shop. Seems like that's all that's been in the offer lately. Mm -hmm. If there's ever three identical tiles in the offer, you can wipe it. Yeah, optionally. Or if you have three identical tiles in your possession, you can exchange them as well. Right. Okay. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to bring in these guys. Grape and tomato guys. I'll put them here. So you're only bringing in two. Oh, well, there's three on this row, so you could technically bring in a three. I know, but there's no grape and tomato guy, and I have grapes and tomatoes. Oh, all right. <laughs> so... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for your luck. No, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to get four bucks. Just four dollars? Right, I'll All take right. it. I'll cash you out. Wait. That's a lie. Because well, I have more than that. Wines, yeah. yeah. So that's worth two, and that's worth two. That's a three. Three. It's worth three. That's worth two. So three times two is six. Two times two is four. It's ten. So you get ten bucks. Yeah. Why don't you just add them together? I just go three, four, five, and then multiply it. Oh, I don't know. I like to do it the hard way. <laughs> you like to make all your math so hard. Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, right. So, what can I do here? I think I could here, put that guy. Over bring there. in some big, some big stuff. Oh. Okay. Hmm. All right, so I guess I should probably start a flower shop. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it would make sense. Right? I don't know. It depends on where you want to put it. Maybe I'll put it here. Okay. Flower shop. And it's going to cost me three bucks. All right. Hmm. Where can I go build something for cheap? Um, yeah, there's I'm gonna a few. Put this. Here, can you put this up in the middle, the top? Right here? Yeah, right there. It's gonna cost it's gonna you cost me two dollars. And if you're wondering why I'm making Anthony do that, it's because I have a baby strap. <laughs> <laughs> so. yes, she wasn't having it. So the only way we could uh, get through this without uh, her screaming the whole time. So that's it. You just pick a tile. Yeah. And I'll replace um, it. Okay. All right. Oh, and that's my last one. All right. So we've got some grape stores coming out. Grape. Well, that's just grape. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put a tea shop out here, get some money. Now, at the end, when, when you score any restaurants you have in your tableau space, in your supply, will cost you a dollar, so you're penalized for not putting them out. Mm-hmm. Um, go ahead and put this 
Underneath my oh, right here? fish market. Yeah, thanks. All right, so it's a sushi shop. Yep. All right, so I'm going to bring in some clientele right here. So grapes and flowers. Mm. So you're actually going to make some money here. All right. So you're going to get three bucks. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to get, so this shop is worth two, and this shop is worth two. So that's four mm -hmm. times three is $12. All right. Five, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. Thank you. Um, I'll bring in some clients as well. Some clients. Some, some clients. market clients. <laughs> Um, all right, what am I gonna, where, where am I here? Hmm. Does anybody want fish and tomatoes? <laughs> fish and tomatoes. Um, no. Yeah, Let's... that those guys do. Oh, they do. Yeah, those two. One, two, three, four. It's not really like super worth it though. I don't have any like great combos yet. You know what I mean? <laughs> the board's filling up. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't. I can't do that anyway because I only have two. So I'll do this. We will bring in tomatoes and fish people. So that'll be one, two, three times two, six. Eight. eight. He's worth two. Oh, yeah. He's worth right. two. Good call. So eight bucks. Mm hmm. Okay. I forget what shop I put down now. It's meat. It's a meat factory. A meat shop. Okay. Oh, I have to turn this on. So grapes and fish. Hmm. All right, I guess I could put out a, it's gonna cost me $3 for this tomato stand. Hmm. Two, three. Last one. <gasps> oh my goodness. Choose wisely. Hmm. Yeah, it gets really tough as it starts to fill in. I know. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces left. So we've got a lot left. Mm hmm We do. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, like so many clients we can bring in for money. Um... I think I'll put this guy down here. Here? Yes. All right, that'll cost you three dollars. Okay. Hmm. And I'm not taking from here any marks. I don't have any more mm -mm. magnet guys. No more magnet guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put a restaurant, pizza parlor, right there. Get my dollar. That's it? Mm-hmm. Okay. My burger joint up above my... Here? Yes. Yeah, up above for your meat factory. Mm -hmm. All right, you get a dollar for that? Um, okay. Hmm. I'm thinking about... Uh, uh, okay. I was... Well, I was thinking maybe I want to put that on the other side of my meat factory. But yeah, actually, can I put that on the other side of my meat factory, please? Above my wine shop. Here. Yeah, thanks. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. So gratis. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> yes, this is tough, man. Wow, this is really tough, actually. No, like, I don't know mm. where I want to go. Mm. There's a lot of options here. Oh. I screwed myself. It's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess I could just put Dang this it. guy here for $2. That's a cheap play. Because you know what I was wanting to do. Mm-mm. No. Hmm. Okay. I am going to put... I'm going to put this up there next to the pizza. Oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. Now, like, in the spot with the pizza. Oh, here. Yeah. All right. That's going to cost you $3. Ah, Crap, I don't know if I want to do that. Why? Because that's four spaces. That's going to end the game. That will end the game, yeah. Sorry. And I won't get another, another no, shot. No, your turn's over. Yeah, I don't Sorry. Want to do that. I'm, re I'm, I'm not ready. You're not ready to I'm end close, this? Like, I'm close ready, but I'm not quite ready. Yikes, yeah, because I have self to Did I pay for that? No, not yet. You're going to um, pay for that. <laughs> you will pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, oh, how about, do you really want meat and tomatoes? Meat and tomatoes. It's like a chicken and parm. Somebody wants a flowers? chicken parm sandwich. Meat. Oh, that's your tomato plant anyway. That's good. No, nah, that's okay. Six bucks. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Uh, this is so tough. Um, <sighs> so many options. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm going to put this these guys down here. Okay. Grapes. So, so you're going to score grapes. One, two, grapes. three, four, five, times two is ten. One, two, three, four. Three and five, yes, ten. Ten dollar. Wow. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Decent. Decent money. Not as much yeah. as if I had my other stand up there. True. True. Oh. One, that wouldn't two, have ended three, it. That actually four. would not have ended it. It would have, yeah. No, because that's not that filled in. still counts as an empty... It's, it's available. It's not. It's gray still. Yeah, but if I had put it up at the pizza shop... No, this is... So it's available. It counts as available. I know, but it's one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. If I had put that pizza... No, you're right. You know? You're right. Oh, yeah. So, that's so terrible for careful. you. That's so terrible for you. <laughs> for you. I need big money though, <laughs> but I don't have anything that's going to give me a, a, a multiple mm -hmm. hitter here. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Mm. Maybe. I don't. Yeah, that's true. Um, nothing where I'm going to score big. No, no, no. Right? Because it, it's a matter of how how things yeah. end up on the board, and then yeah. what. People end up like put out. these guys here for that. He's worth three, so it'll be a six dollar. Yeah. Six dollar customer. I mean, that's right. all I can do at this point to start getting money. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So. Hmm. I see why they, why we have those little shields. Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk, talk about, about we'll that? talk about yeah. that at, um, at the end. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. 
Um, all right, so I'm just going to do this, I think. And this is going to be one, two, three. Do this, or I could bring out. No, maybe I'll bring this, this, these people up and bring this here. Or now, I will do this because I don't want this to go any longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to give me <laughs> more opportunities to make money? Correct. That okay. is exactly my point. So. All right. That's going to be what? $3. Three. Leave that there then. Or no. Oh, okay, here we go. Sorry. You, we have to pay for these at the end, which mm -hmm. that sucks, but three so bucks. That's three bucks. And he's a he's a chicken, so I am gonna get four dollars. Okay. Because he's next to the burger yep. place. So Yep, that's right. Back. Okay. Done. Right, so and that does trigger <clears throat> that triggers game in, so I get one more turn and then it's over. All right. Hmm. So I might as well just try to make some money, right? Mm hmm Have So money. I have a chicken and a flower shop, but there's no chicken and flower buyer. Well, there's mm. one chicken and flower buyer, but he's a single customer. And then a three customer, which you can't do, right? I cannot do that one. He can't come by my chicken and flowers, mm -mm. unfortunately. <laughs> um, do we have a tomato buyer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. So I could, yeah, that's probably the best payout. So if I take this triple, mm -hmm. I come down here. Okay. And I, it's only going to be this tomato shop. So he's going to be worth two times three is six. Okay. Okay. Six bucks. And you go. All right, so that's... It that's the mm -hmm. game, and you basically just count your money. But exactly. you got, you do got to pay. So I do have a restaurant, so I got to pay for that. And I have a restaurant. So it well. cost me a dollar. And then how much money do you have? One, two, three, four. So I've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six bucks. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. So <laughs> three-dollar difference. Close. All right. Yes. Okay. So let's go talk about. Okay. This. All right, there you have it. Mercado, El Mercado de Lisboa. De Lisboa. Yes. Um, yeah, that was cool. So I, before I forget, I want to address one thing that we didn't do that you can do. That is recommended, that is recommended you, you do, you actually. Do. And, um, and we didn't do it because it's the blinders are always Just kind of tough when we do these purposes, as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, but if you see at the end, really, the, well, the only reason I kind of like ended it was because I knew I had a little bit more money than you did. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, well, we could end this now, or I could give you an opportunity to make more money. Right, more money. <laughs> so. so, yeah, the, the obviously you don't want to show how much money you have. And money right. is not public, your own money. Your yeah. your tiles are public, but your money's not. The game comes with player shields. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they fold up, they go in front of you, you put your money behind the shield, and that's the exact reason why you don't want people to know how much you right. have, because <laughs> your you have control over when the game ends. Mm -hmm. And if you know how much money another player has, you could basically end the game. Right. And it's kind of... Well, or, and we've seen this <clears throat> before too, it didn't really come up uh, this game, but if, you know, if I wanted to take advantage of like this column again, and I knew it was going to give right. you a payout, I'm not sitting there kind of trying to calculate how much of a payout mm -hmm. you're going to get and where that's going to put you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you, 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 if you're going to play, yeah. put the shields on. That's right. highly recommended <laughs> um, because you're going to run into something like this where right. you know you're going to win the game and it's kind of it's kind of cheap in my opinion. Yeah, so. <laughs> it is pretty cheap. In any case, so, so there it is. Yeah, so this is uh, this is still on Kickstarter, so we don't, we're not going to go into uh, too much detail with regards to like the... Right. But I will say, if this, this is in, in my opinion, uh -huh. condition that you could put this right on the shelf. Oh, absolutely. It's got yeah. complete... Uh, instructions. Mm -hmm. So the manual, it's like four yeah. pages, literally. Right. Uh, but it's complete and it's full. It's not like a Word doc, which is, used, is no. what we're typically used to getting. <laughs> yeah. So I think this is a, this is way different from our 
atypical Kickstarter. Yes. In my opinion, this is more like a pre-order. Uh, yeah, I, I would say the same. So I'm not yeah. afraid to give opinions on this. Yeah. Um, what we don't like to do is give opinions on games that are still being, rules are being hashed out. Right, right. Uh, there's still production art missing. Right. Um, it's it's, it's, like, it's cut it's out of like, say. and taped together with actual cardboard. This is, this, we opened this up, had to punch it. It's, it's a yeah. real deal, fully fleshed out published game like yeah. this thing could go on the sh if I saw this on the shelves and bought it it would be <laughs> you I, wouldn't be disappointed you wouldn't be, it wouldn't even look like a prototype like right. this is I can't call this a prototype yeah it's that good so yeah. um so what are your thoughts on this one I I really really enjoyed it oh, yeah, yeah. I too. was um when we were contacted you know and it was you know the pitch essentially is like well it's like a Vital game but it's you know 30 45 minutes it's tile placement yeah I guess it's such a like, thing it's about that one component <laughs> in that game yeah that really it's like. pretty and I'm like, funny oh okay um yeah so i was really excited about it and my worry was that i was <clears> setting my expectation way too high right uh because i was you know obviously i had i expected kind of that feeling um that you're playing a, a game that's very strategic mm -hmm. like we're used to with lacerda's games um and and i was very pleasantly surprised that it did exceed my expectations. That's good. I really enjoyed the fact that unlike a lot of other tile placement games where you kind of have free reign from the beginning, mm -hmm. you still got that feeling where, okay, I, I really only have one or two things I can do right. for the first couple rounds. Yep. And that's like how you feel every time you play a, mm -hmm. a longer Lacerda game. So yeah, I'm really glad that that came through. Um, and I also really enjoy... I enjoy the player interaction in this. Yeah, it's don't. really it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it's it's amazing that you can take a piece of one of his yeah. other games, just a piece, <laughs> and build a he whole game really, out like, of it. Like monopolize on that. Yeah, too. just, just starts taking like chunks pieces out of all <laughs> his games because they're so complex. Uh -huh. You can take one little component of it and actually build an entire game around that, yeah, yeah. and have it be a, a nice meaty solid game mm -hmm. that'll that'll run you in thirty to forty minutes. Yeah. So. One thing I I will say I can see us you know playing this with. Maybe folks that wouldn't play like Lisboa, the yes. three-hour game. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Um, but uh, but they, this might be a good palatable start. Start, start it up to get them into. You're like now you know how yes. to play one fourth yes. of the Lisboa, the actual yeah. Lisboa game. It's a good, it's a good primer. Right, right. Yes, absolutely. So. Um, and again, still, still kind of like heavy enough that it scratches that itch mm -hmm. of like I want to do a kind of puzzle. Um, it's not, uh, it doesn't take up too much time where mm. I, we could put this out and play it again. And I would be Oh, yeah, it. it's very, so, very quick. Very yeah, which quick. We've done. Very quick and very, very meaty. So, um, but that's it. We're not going to go on again. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's on Kickstarter now. It, at this point, it's already funded. Um, yeah. As of when I looked this morning, so it's yeah. definitely, uh, it's definitely doing well. Uh, if you're a Lisboa fan, most of you won't even think twice about getting this it's because up, it's, yeah. it's 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 in the same vein but it's just a little bit lighter and it gives you an right. opportunity to take the game out and, and kind of feel the Lisboa world mm -hmm. um, you know uh, <laughs> in the modern age in the, in the modern age <laughs> but in, in a nice smaller uh, piece if, if that works yeah. for you so um, and, and if you're a Lacerda fan then this is just another piece of your collection because you're yeah. you probably have all those other games like we do as well yeah so Right. You good? Anything yeah, else? that's good. I think that's right. about it. Well, we hope you enjoyed the playthrough. The Kickstarter link is down below in the notes. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.